Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will learn acetoacetic ester synthesis. What is acetoacetic synthesis? Why do we call acetoacetic synthesis? And what is the final product of acetoacetic synthesis? Let's begin with introduction. Acetoacetic synthesis leads to formation methyl ketone or its derivatives. It, it will be synthesized or simply methyl ketone derivative will be synthesized in three steps. First, it will be alkylated. It can be al uh, monoalkylated or dialkylated. This alkylated ester further will be hydrolyzed and uh, finally in third step uh, the carboxylic will be decarboxylated. That would form three substituted or three three dash substituted methyl ketone. This stage is called acetoacetic synthesis. This is so called acetoacetic synthesis because the starting material is uh, ethyl acetoester. As I mentioned, this could be a monoalkylated or dialkylated. This mono or dialkylated uh, further will be hydrolyzed and decarboxylation form a 3 3 disubstituted or 3 disubstituted methyl ketone. This is an uh, example of this ethyl aceto acetate in presence of sodium oxide, sodium ethoxide with any alkyl halide. It can be a mono substituted and it can be a disubstituted. These both further will be hydrolyzed from a carboxylic, then finally the carboxylation form respectively to heptanone R3 and a 3 butyl 2 heptanone. This is a mechanism type example. First, deprotonation occur through the strong base from a carbonyl. This carbonyl is stabilized by ester group and ketone group for that the, um, uh, this in uh, alpha hydrogen has alpha proton proton has a pk value of 11 this carbonyl is a further alkylated alkyl halided this can be a mono halided or a dis as i mentioned and this mechanism through the sn2 primary and secondary alkyl halide work best and tertiary would uh, undergo the elimination reaction. And this alkylated ethyl acetoester will be hydrolyzed. This process is known as saponification from a carboxylic acid. Then this carboxylic acid is decarboxylated by heating and this form a ester. Now some examples. In it states that synthesis of following ketones begin as uh, following ketones are two hexanone, two octanone, and three ethyl two pentanone, and four phenyl two butanone. And uh, we have a uh, starting material ethyl three oxobutanate, are simply known as ethyl aceto aceto. We are having a starting material ethyl aceto acetate, and we have to synthesize two uh, hexanone. 2 octanone and 3 ethyl pentanone and 1, 2, 3, 3 phenyl or 4 phenyl uh, 2 butanone. Let's start uh, working on this. As I said, that <clears throat> starting material is a ethyl acetoacetate. And we have to synthesize two hexanone first. This hydrogen, no, this carbon is a this carbon, alpha carbon. After this, we have one, two, three. So first sodium ethoxide is used, carbonyl form. This carbonyl is a alkylated with propyl alkylate because we need three carbons. So this these form a 
firm bond here and the ester and then this ester would be followed by hydrolyzed this hydrolyzed ether will, uh, will be a decarboxylic and the bond breaking will be from here so this would be a two hexanone another example same now we have to make two octanone as we know that we have one carbon here we have to bring seven more carbons one two three four five seven okay first this will be alkylated as i mentioned before this alkylate then hydrolyzed and this hydrolyzed will be a kind of carboxylic acid then carboxylation followed by decarboxylation form of this uh, uh octanone to octanone actually what happens now we have to make three ethyl two pentanone three ethyl two pentanone so first as we know that bond breaking occur from here so first sodium ethoxide form a enol enol is alkylated form a ethyl here then again this is alkylated form a di substituted this side di substituted is a hydrolyzed and then followed by decarboxylation form a 3 ethyl pentanone 2 pentanone final 4 phenyl 2 butanone 1 2 3 4 4 phenyl 2 butanone as we know that first sodium thioxide form enol this enol is uh, reacted with benzyl bromide this benzyl bromide will be followed by hydrolyze and uh, then carbo uh, decarboxylation form a uh, 4 phenyl 2 pentanone thank you for watching my youtube channel if you have any query with organic chemistry feel free to comment i will help you and upload more videos about that topic and this topic thank you for again